in this video we're going to wire up an EX1. Now the EX1 has two humbucker pickups, a volume control, a tone control and a three-way switch. So when you open up your pack, you're going to need to grab the following things. You're going to need your two pickups. You'll notice one's got a red wire, one's got a yellow wire. We'll get to which one's which in a minute. You'll need your spare wires. They're just a short and long wire. A collection of short and long wires just taped together. You'll need your three-way switch, your output jack or input socket. You'll need your two pots. They're the potentiometers. One of those will be the volume. One of those will be the tone. It doesn't matter which one. The tone control uh, will become a tone control when we put a capacitor onto it. You'll need your solder, which actually does come with the kit and you'll need your bag of screws and we'll get to those as we go. You'll also need from your kitchen or uh, workshop a uh, wet sponge, that's just to keep your soldering iron clean and of course you'll need your soldering iron. And one last thing you'll obviously need is the body of your X1 and you might remember that's the one we painted earlier on. It's looking nice. So we've got our body of our guitar. The first thing we want to do is just put in the pickups and we want to tape them into position. That, that way we can turn the guitar over and they're not going to fall out. So we'll put in the bridge and the neck pickups first. Let's have a look at that now. The first step, we need to put the neck pickup in this neck pickup cavity. Now the neck pickup is this one here and it's got the yellow cable on it. Now you notice here, if you look inside your cavity, you'll see there's a hole here and it runs through and it comes out through the um, bridge pickup cavity. So we want to feed the wire through that hole and collect it at the bridge cavity first. So just fold the wire over like that, feed it through that hole, and there it comes out through the cavity for the bridge pickup. There you go. And we can just put that there. Now that's obviously going to go like that because the wire is coming out in that corner there, as you can see. So that's just uh, common sense. That sits like that. Okay, so we've got that pick up there. I just want to tape that down because we, as we're going to work on the guitar, we're going to be turning it over and we don't want that falling out. You don't want to actually screw it in yet because you will need to take this off to access that cavity from time to time. We'll get to that in a minute. So just a couple of small bits of masking tape. And don't press too hard, you don't want to take any of the uh, finish off. Just enough to hold that into position so it's not going to pop out if you turn it upside down. Alright, so we've got to get this yellow wire into the tone control uh, cavity. So it's got to go through the second hole in the bridge pickup cavity, which is in the corner there. So I feed it through, feed it through, and if we turn the guitar over, we should see, there it is. It's now in the wiring cavity for the control panel. So that's fine, we'll leave that there. That looks good. All right, so we Repeat that now for the bridge pickup. Now the bridge pickup is the one with the red wire. So again, we'll put that in that way as the wire's coming out there and the hole's there. So I'll fold that over. And I'll feed that through the same hole that the yellow wire of the neck pickup went through. I'll feed that through and I'll put the pickup into position and I'll just hold that while I turn the guitar over and there's the red wire there so I've now got the two wires from both pickups coming through into the control panel just where I want them alright so I might just tape up that second pickup then we can get to work on the back okay so you can see that I've got both pickups taped into position so now when I turn that guitar over to work on the back the pickups will stay in place. Okay, so we've turned the guitar over now. We've got our two wires coming out. We can leave those for a minute. What I want to do is I want to grab a bit of cardboard and this is going to serve two uh, purposes. I, I just grabbed this off the box that the guitar came in. Uh, just a thin bit of cardboard but sturdy enough to hold the pots. 
What we want to do is put a couple of holes in these, uh, in this bit of cardboard, so we can keep the potentiometers or the pots um, stable while we're wiring them. It just makes it easier rather than them falling all over the place. So what I, what I want to do is I want to line the holes up. The, there's a volume and a tone and a three-way switch hole in the body of this guitar. You can see that in there. I want to get roughly the same holes into this cardboard, so I'll just do that with a, some pliers perhaps, just uh, put one hole there, all the way through, and I'll grab one of the potentiometers or pots and I'll put that through, and there you go, see that's just put it, that into position and that's not going to move around, and I'll have the contacts facing me. So when I put that over the control panel like that, that's going to make a nice easy work area. And if I just move it over there, I can get the wires across, and that'll make it an easy job. So I'll do the same, I'll get the other one. So the, the tone control will be at this end. I'll make a small hole. I'll put the other potentiometer in. There you go. And now I've got the two potentiometers facing each other. And the contact points are facing each other. And I'll put a hole in here now for the three-way switch, but I won't actually put the switch in now. I'll do that a bit later. And there you go. So eventually I'll have the three-way switch in there as well. But that's enough to get going. So let's see. Now it might just be a good idea just to mark your piece of cardboard identifying which pot is the tone and which one's the volume. Now if I turn the guitar over for a second and that's the front of the guitar here's the bridge, the bridge will be here now the volume pot, or sorry the volume control will be here at the front so there's the pickups, there's the bottom of the guitar, there's the top of the guitar so the volume control will be coming through this hole, the three-way switch will be through the bigger hole in the middle, and the tone control will be at the back of the guitar. So, just there you go, there's the three holes there, volume, three-way switch, tone control. So now if I turn that over, and I look inside the guitar, I don't know if you can get that, the three holes there at the back need to be labelled. So we can do that on the piece of cardboard. We've got the volume here, the three-way switch, and the tone. So I'll just mark those there. Volume, three-way, tone. And that'll just make it easy when we're uh, wiring it up, so we don't forget which one's which. All right. So the first thing we need to do is earth the volume pot, and that's pretty simple. So to make a volume pot, you need to earth the third contact point along. So what you need to do, with the contact points facing you, take the one on the right, there you go, take the one on the right and bend it up and towards the top of the potentiometer, so the top of the pot, until it touches. There you go, can you see that? So I've taken this contact point on the right and I've bent it up and now it's just barely touching the top of that uh, potentiometer. What we need to do is to complete that earth circuit by putting a bit of solder between the contact point and the top of that pot. We'll do that now. So we can put it back into the holder there and we'll get our soldering iron set up. Okay, so I've got our soldering iron here. It's all heated up. I just want to put a little bit of solder onto this contact point so it makes contact with the top of the pot. A bit more. And there you go. So now that rightmost contact point has been soldered 
onto the top of this control panel. That is now a volume pot and it's earth. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to connect the volume pot to the tone pot. And we're going to do that from the left facing you, contact point on the volume pot, to the left facing out of you. It's actually, if it was facing you, it would be the right, but it's here, it's in the left because these two are facing each other. So from the left of the volume pot to the left on the tone pot. And for that, we'll need one of the short wires that come in your pack. So we'll just get one of those out. So you see, this is how your wires come. These are the short ones. You just need to pull one of those off. This one's a green one. Doesn't matter which one you use. Now you need to trim and ting both ends. If you've seen the um, introduction to soldering, you'll know how to do that. But just quickly grab some pliers. You want to get about 5mm of bare wire on the end of this wire. So just very gently, not cutting into the wire, just through the plastic. There you go. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a bit, barely five millimetres there of wire. And I'll do the same to the other end. Careful not to cut the plastic, uh, to cut through the wire itself. So a little bit of pressure and pull out. And there you go. Just twist those wires so they form into a nice single wire. And now you need to tin those. Tinning the wires means you're just going to put a little bit of solder on the end there. And there you go. That's, that's tinning the wire. I've done both ends of that short wire there. And that's ready to go between the volume pot and the tone pot. Alright, so I've fed one end of that short green wire into the left contact point facing me on the volume pot. And I just need to put a bit of solder on there to make that contact point. And there you go, there's a nice solid connection there. Now I need to do the same to the left, facing away from me, uh, outside contact point on the tone control. Okay, so I've just talked that over to that um, uh, left outside contact point on the tone control. And I'll just need to drop a little bit of solder on that to finish that connection. And there you go.